Welcome back Poké fans to part 3 of my Pokemon Flora Sky series. Before we begin the game, I just wanted to thank all of the people who have subscribed to my channel. Um, it's a real motivation for me to go ahead and put out more videos for you guys. And I'm really happy about that. And if you haven't really subscribed and this is the first time you're checking out my videos, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button and like this video. Thank you so much. And let's move on. Last episode, we stopped in Route D after we got a new team member who is Mareep. This episode, we'll make our way to Big Bug Forest, uh, where as the name states, we only have bug type Pokemon. But there is a honey tree over here, as well as a headbutt tree. I believe headbutt tree is something that is unique to this game and I actually like the concept of that. I believe there are only a few rare Pokemons that you'll be able to find in the headbutt trees. Um, namely, you'll be able to find Heracross in that, Slackoth, I know there is a Hootoot, Imolga, etc. I'm thinking about it, maybe I will come back and get a Pokemon from the headbutt tree. But currently in the position where we are, we don't really have the TM for headbutt. Neither do we have any Pokemon with the move headbutt, so I won't be able to actually use it. But if you do want to get the TM, all you have to do is go to the next town, which I think it's Plate Pick City in this game. And all you have to do is go ahead and go out the right side exit of the city. There you'll be able to find an NPC who will give you the headbutt TM for free. Now if you don't want to use the TM, you can also go to the left side exit of the Plate Pick City. And if you go to a cave that's right next to that route, you will be able to find Aaron who will actually learn headbutt move um, in its move set. So that is also a way you can actually use that move on the tree. For now, we'll actually focus on making our way to play Pick City. We do have the second gym over there and I'm really excited about that. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm actually playing the older version of this game, which means the gym leader is going to be extremely tough. Um, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be struggling for the second gym as well, but we can definitely go ahead and try to level up our team members. Now, the gym leader is going to be around level 22, so I would prefer at least having my Pokemons at level 24. Um, that is the minimum that I would actually recommend if you want to really, you know, um, I guess be the gym leader. But if you do have a fighting type Pokemon, I think it will be much easier. Um, I don't think you would have to train up until level 22 itself just because the gym leader is having a normal type Pokemons. But considering my team members and not having a fighting type Pokemon, I think I should be a bit more careful with the gym leader. Either way, here you can see I have my Mareep who I'm trying to train up. I'm not really sure if I want to use Mareep still because I'm pretty sure most of the people have used it and I have definitely used Mareep way more time than any other electric type Pokemon. So I'm not too thrilled to have Mareep over here. Maybe in the future, I might try using Imolka since it's one of those unique Pokemons that I never use. And considering that it is quite easier to get that Pokemon in this game, I think I might try and use it. But of course, I do need the move Headbutt for that, so I can't really do it right away. Until then, I'll definitely go ahead and use this Mareep in my team. Now, I have been training up a bit over here. As you can see, I'm just battling against a wild Pokemon. This is just to make sure that I level up my Mareep a bit more since it is at a quite a low level. The one good thing in this forest is that we do have an NPC who will be able to heal up our team members each time we talk to her. So if you do have some trouble going through this forest, you can just go back, talk to the NPC and she will immediately heal up your team member. Alright, um, since this is a bug forest, it's expected that we have a lot of bug type trainers, which is quite good considering that some of the leveled up and evolved bug type Pokemon do give you a lot of EXP. And as you can see, it is helping my Murray level up pretty fast. Well, it might also be that Mareep just needs less amount of EXP than probably like Rogs when it's leveling up. 
that might also be the case but i think this is actually a good place to train up your team member who have i guess just added i have been going through the pokemons that are available for this version of the game and i see that there aren't really that many fire type pokemons to add i know there are there's going to be probably wolpix stockol and numel in this game and other than that we do have a starter chimcham if you have actually um, i guess started with chinchar that is going to be your fire type but we do have growlith other than that but i don't think there are many other fire types so i have been thinking about this i might have to go back and catch a growlith um it does get the intimidate ability which is quite good and i really like personally you know growlith better than the other fire types so i might go back um if you want to know it is actually in route c that is right next to the mystic town so if you want to catch yourself a growlith you do have to go over there it's just right south to pure city for now we can actually go ahead and battle the trainers over here and i'm quite surprised um i was not really expecting a um psychic type trainer in a bug forest but okay and it's quite nice to see a abra in this game as well it is one of those pokemon that i've never used um i am planning to use it in the future but i'm not really sure anytime soon not sure how many of you have seen the new trailer that was released for the new games that is pokemon scarlet and violet but there has been another new i guess a video that has been uploaded in the pokemon official channel and that is really interesting they have gone ahead and introduced a new pokemon who's going to be a dragon and normal type i believe its name is cyclops at least that's how i think it's pronounced but i really like the design of it It kind of sort of looks like a pre-evolution for the legendary pokemons on the back. But again, I am not sure. It's just going to be a speculation. It's quite cool though. I really like the designs and I'm glad that they are putting out new trailers for that game as well. All right, here is a random Sukun that I'm just taking down just to see if I'm going to be leveling up. And Mareep is finally going to be evolving. I'm really happy about this. That is one of the advantage of having a Mareep. Just like Shanks, it is going to be evolving in a very low level and you are going to be having a very strong Pokémon pretty soon. Finally, we have a Flappy in our team. Not bad. Now, you know, leveling up is going to be something that we do have to do a lot in this older version of the game. I believe the newer complimentary dex version doesn't really give you that amount of a tough challenge. The levels of the trainers are going to be a bit different and the pokemons I believe are going to be a bit uh, I guess easier. But we do get a chance to get a exp share uh, right in the next city. So I'm really happy about that. That exp share is going to help me level up my team members pretty fast. I think the only team member that we had to level up for now was actually Flappy and I believe it will be around the same level as my other team members pretty soon. So I don't think I really need it now, but there are around 2 to 3 Pokémon that I do want to catch in the next city. Um it's going to be quite around the city, so I think once I get all of my new team members, I might need the help of EXP share to level them up. All right. Here we are and let's actually go ahead and skip out the headbutt tree. The tree that you just saw which was pretty huge was the headbutt tree and it's quite unique. I don't think you have another tree like that in this whole game. I think this forest is the only one that has it which is quite cool. And I believe we can actually find pincer over there as well which I really can't confirm but I think it should be there. Usually in a game whenever we find a heracross you will be able to find pincer in the same route so I'm kind of expecting it but here is an emolga now I really like emolga because of its typing um it's actually a electric and flying type and it's quite good it doesn't really have too much of a weakness I believe rock type moves are the only weakness it does have 
and personally i really like this pokemon its design is pretty cute and it is quite strong um especially for my current team since i don't really have any way of you know defeating it so i might think of adding this one into my team in the future okay it seems like he actually withdrew his pokemon which is quite good as you can see this actually tells that the ai in this game is pretty good and it is quite challenging as well All right i guess i should have actually switched out into fluffy before considering that my third week can't really do uh, the amount of damage i wanted to but since we have it now i guess we can actually switch back to turtwick mother is a electric type so i don't think electric type moves does the damage i wanted to so i think having turtwick is much better also i feel like getting turtwick as my starter is going to make some things a bit more harder for me just because having a peplub and chimchar is much easier for a play through than turtwick and this is just my observation considering i have played this game with a peplub before and i believe it was not as difficult as it is with a turtwick all right i guess we still have to level up our magic up as well who currently cannot do anything i mean i really needed to evolve into a gyarados i think the easier way for me to evolve it would be probably when i get the exp share and just you know let magic up hold it on it until it actually evolves all right here we have a silcoon who i have just made sure i take it down just to get some extra exp on my fluffy and we have one more final trainer in this forest once we have defeated this guy we are going to be going ahead and going to the main union gate for plague pick city all right he actually has an incarda which is quite cool i don't think fluffy is the right pokemon for incarda considering it is a ground type but i think we should be able to defeat it with tackles not bad now i might consider going back and just healing up my team member again this can be easily done by talking to the npc who is going to be right next to the honey tree in this forest and she is going to be just healing up your team member so you don't really have to make all the way back to small town and to your home all right we have defeated all the trainers in this forest so we can just go ahead and pick up the item not bad i think i'll take a paralyzed seal any time we do need it a lot in this game considering that the ai is pretty good for the gym leaders and they will try and put different kind of stages on you and here we are back in route d all right we have only one trainer left in this route and before i go ahead and just you know battle him i'll just talk to all of these npcs over here they are going to be giving you free berries so if you are trying to collect berries for your pokemon you can definitely go ahead and talk to them uh, which i will go ahead and do now well now that i've picked up all the berries i do want to mention that there are a few items that i've missed in the other cities and towns um i'm not going to be picking out all of them i'm just going to pick up the items that are quite important and the ones that i'm going to be using these are going to be probably the useful items you know health items that pokemon can use or just berries that are growing here and there but there are definitely some items like a i believe it's a moonstone back in your city you do have to go ahead and buy a shadow mail from the shop back in small town and then make your way to pearl city in one of the houses an npc will definitely exchange the shadow mail for a i believe it's a moonstone which i have skipped since i don't really need a moonstone to evolve any of my team members but if you do need it and if you're planning to you know evolve your pokemon using a moonstone you can definitely go ahead and get that one over there there are going to be a few more items here in plate pick city as well which i think i might probably skip there is an item called quick lock which i will be getting i think that is going to be a very useful item for my third wick my third wick is 
quite slow considering its evolutions will also be slow i think having a quick loss should help it at some point so i might go ahead and pick that up but back to this battle i'm really happy that this trainer actually had a butterfly and it does talks because they are going to give us a lot of exp once we defeat them all right i think we are in a good position over here with our fluffy who is doing quite good one more than a shock and ah yes we have defeated the dust ox for a moment i thought we did not but apparently we have taken it down so that is pretty good all right since we have defeated all the trainers we are going to be going through the union gate and finally make our way to paypex city not bad so we do have an npc coming over here he is actually mentioning us that there is team magma in a I guess a office building and we do have to go ahead and battle them. That is going to be our first goal over here. But before I go ahead and do that because you know we do have the magma commander that we have to go against who is going to be having some tougher pokemon. I think we can actually go ahead and just explore the city for today as well as the smaller areas that are present in the right and the left exit of the city. before we go ahead with the main storyline now i did take some time i did went ahead and bought up some items in the shop as well as healed my team members in the pokemon center now we are actually going to be going through the right side exit of the plate big city there are a few trainers over here that we can actually battle as well as a few items and tms that we can get over here We also have the gym leader who's going to be here but I think we do have to actually complete the team magma series um that part of the story before we go ahead and talk to the gym leader. All right, here we are. This is actually route F and we are not going to be getting to explore the whole route for now. We do need to have rock climb which we will be getting at the end of this game so We are actually not going to be exploring this route until the end. For now, I'm just going to be picking up the item as well as talking to the trainer in this route that is the man who's actually standing in front of his house. And also, this is where you will get the TM for headbutt. Now, this is actually a bit south from the man who was standing in front of the house. So, all you have to do is just come and talk to this NPC. and he'll be able to give you the tm for headbutt there it is and i believe my team members can actually learn it yep it seems like turtle can learn it but i don't really want to teach it for now i think i will just save up this tm for a later stage all right let's quickly make our way back and just go ahead and challenge this guy right here Now this is actually a pretty tough challenge so I would definitely recommend healing your team members before you come here and also carrying a lot of healing items just because you will actually have to battle four different trainers one after the other so they won't really give you a chance to heal up your team members and it's going to be a bit tricky here All right as you can see the pokemon that this trainer actually has is around level 16 and this is actually the first trainer so we are going to be struggling in this battle definitely okay that was really bad it actually a mercro i'm hoping it doesn't use pursuit and yes it does okay and that the end of my rolls in this battle over here that was pretty bad but at least i got a queen switch for my fluffy over here We should be easily able to take down the smokro but as you can see from the level of this trainer you do have to be a bit more higher level than what I am or you are just going to be struggling like how I am struggling over here I feel like this game just has a very weird curve in the levels till now we just were battling pokemon trainers with level 12 pokemon and now all of a sudden they are at level 16 okay Um I guess we are going to have this challenge a must I guess it's going to be much difficult now that we only have Fluffy and my Turtwig but let's hope that we are able to take them down All right 
we should be able to take down the Pichu without any issues. I don't think it, uh, you know, has more of an issue over here. But we still do have around three trainers left. So I'm just thinking if I do want to switch out to Turtwig. I think we should be fine even if we are confused. I mean, I do have healing items and I can definitely go ahead and use them. Alright, at least we were able to defeat the first trainer right here. Now, if you do lose to any of these trainers, you do have to come back and battle all four of them in order to win. So, if you really want to train up, just try losing at the last trainer probably and then go ahead and challenge them. Um, that is a way you can actually use to train them up. But I won't be using that. So I will just try and defeat them over here. Right? This trainer actually has a Imaga who has Spark. And that is a really good move. It is actually a 60 uh, power based move. And it is quite good for a starting of this game. Unfortunately, my Flappy won't be learning this move. Um, the next powerful electric type move would be Thunder Punch that it will learn when it evolves at level 30. So until then, I'm kind of struggling with Thunder Shock over here. Alright, seems like she has, you know, healed up her Immorga as well. But thankfully, we were able to get a crit hit. Now I wonder if she will go ahead and heal it up again. Okay, she did not. Um, that was pretty good. And we have got a lot of EXP from that Immolga. That was pretty cool. Alright, I guess I'll take Thunder Wave. Um, I think it will at least help me paralyze my opponents and stopping them from, I guess, doing more damage. Here is the third trainer who is going to be the daughter of the two people who just battled this. And she, I believe, will have three Pokemons. The first one being a Meryl, which I believe we can just take it down with a Thunder Shock or two in this case. And as you can see, it's actually a really good train up for my Flappy who is at level 18 now. That's nice to see. Let's see if we can take it down over here. Right, we have taken down the Meryl. And the next Pokemon is going to be a Tranquil. Now that is pretty cool. I really like Tranquil and its evolution. Um, you will be able to again find p in this specific route. So if you do want to use Tranquil or its evolution, definitely go ahead and catch a p in this route. Alright, we were able to take down the Tranquil also. And that is a really good AXP again. I am at level 19. I think Flappy has, you know, surpassed the other team members at this point and it is quite higher level. Alright, she does have a Scorpi, which is a very unique Pokemon. It is actually a poison and bug type. I haven't seen many people use this Pokemon and I feel like it's actually quite underrated. But trust me, a Scorpi is a really good Pokemon. It does evolve into quite a good Pokemon as well. So if you want to try something new, Definitely would recommend a Scorpi in your team. Alright, this is actually going to be the final trainer for this house. She's actually going to be the grandma and she only has one Pokemon. She's going to have a Herdier at level 19. Which as you can see is the highest level of Pokemon I am seeing. And none of my team members are leveled up enough to you know battle this one. Okay, I see you using a crit hit, but thankfully I do have a lot of healing items, so I'm really happy about that. This Herdier actually has Headbutt, which is quite annoying. As you can see, it's a quite powerful move if you use it on a right Pokemon, and it is doing a lot of damage to me. At this point, I'm quite lucky that it got paralyzed, and it seems like she's actually using a potion over here. Alright, I think it's time I go ahead and heal up my Flappy again. So let me heal it up. And we can actually try and take down this Herdier over here. All I'm hoping is that it won't be able to use Headbutt twice in a row. Ah, of course, why not? It does use Attract. Alright, I guess we are going to be switching out. Let's see how Turtwig can do over here. 
and never mind that twig is down as well all right at least we are going to be going back to fluffy who is the only pokemon that can take down this hurt here not bad one more move and we have finally taken down all the four trainers now that was actually quite a difficulty if i knew that they had pokemon around level 19 I would have definitely not attempted this right now. I did get pretty lucky and I almost lost my team members. But once you actually defeat these four team members or the trainers over here, all you have to do is go ahead and talk to the mom. She'll actually give you a Mako brace, which is a quite good item. It does decrease your Pokémon speed, but it does increase the attack stat. I believe the defense as well. So, if you do want to use that item, you can definitely go ahead and get it as well. All right. Since we have defeated all four of those trainers, I do want to go ahead and heal up my team members, and we can make our way to the left side exit of the city. All right, here we are, right next to the exit, and we have actually found a full heal over here. Quite nice. And let's quickly go ahead and go through the Union Gate again. This time to the left side of the city to Route E. We do have a quite a lot of trainers in this route actually. I would actually recommend you guys to go ahead and go through the left side exit of Plateface City and just battle all of these trainers before you make your way to the right side. I think once you go through here your team members will be leveled up pretty much and they should be able to at least handle the four trainers that we just battled. Also, do not forget to pick up the flash TM. In order to get it, all you have to do is go to the Union Gate in the right exit of the city and just talk to a hiker who is sitting inside the Union Gate. He will be able to give you a copy of that TM. If you don't pick it up, you won't be able to get another TM until you reach the next city which is quite far. And you do need to go through a cave, so you need this TM in order to go through that cave. Please go ahead and pick it up. All right, over here I'm actually trying to use Flappy a lot just because of the fact that it is the only highest level Pokémon I have currently. All right. Let's see how we can actually use rolls. One of the disadvantage of using rolls is that you won't be able to keep it out for any kind of attacking moves just because its defense is really bad. You do have to I guess once rolls actually evolves um into a Golia, I believe it is much stronger and I guess you do have to wait till level 20 for that. Here is the bike shop for this game but you won't be able to get one for now. You do have to go ahead and continue the storyline, defeat the commander for Magma Team and you will be able to receive a bike ticket which you can actually come over here and get your bike for. For now, I believe we can actually go ahead and battle all of these other trainers. All right, here we have a double battle. It has been so long. This is the first double battle you're getting in this game and I'm so happy for it. Usually I really like um double battles way more than single battles just because this is more fun, more strategic. And I guess I forgot to mention Ponyta when I was mentioning the fire type pokemons just because I feel like Ponyta isn't really up to the standards as the other pokemons over here. I think it is a good pokemon if you need a speedy fire type but Ponyta can go down pretty easily for one hit. So it is quite tricky to use. All right. Um I guess we are going to be taking it down over here as well. And I was quite lucky. I didn't really get hit too many times so that was nice. And it seems like Ponyta was a bit confused but still was able to use ember so we do have to still use confusion to take it down all right that was not bad and turtwig has finally leveled up to level 17 one more level and turtwig will be evolving as well i am actually excited for that and 
if it does evolve it is going to be helping me a lot in the second gym all right since we have battled the trainers we can actually go ahead and pick up one more item that is at the end of this route again most of this route e is also going to be blocked off just because we don't have the right dms yet to move forward so now we can just enter this cave battle the trainers that are available and then move on back to Playfix City. Alright, I did just go ahead and switch in my church bag just to make sure that I have a grass type Pokemon for this hiker. Usually hikers tend to have ground type Pokemon so it's easier to take down. Alright, I also need to make sure I have Razor Leaf up in front. That is also one thing I had to do over here. Just because it is easier for me to, you know, click faster over here if we have it up in front. Not bad, we have taken down the Geodude with one hit. It has been quite some time without getting a crit hit, so that is nice. Alright, he actually has a Sand Dial. This is a amazing Pokemon and it's one of my favorite Dragon types. I really love it. Um, so now Sandal is actually a ground type but if it fully evolves it is going to be a part ground and dragon type which I believe is quite cool. Again I'm not really sure if it's a ground type. I think it's going to be evolving into a dark and dragon type which might be the case as well but I really like this Pokemon. I have seen it in the anime as well and it is super cool. Alright. Um, Unfortunately, you won't be able to get it right here in Route E. Um, you will be able to get that Pokemon in Route J, which is going to be coming up in the near future. So, we do have a chance to catch it. Alright, here the trainers have a Omanyte. That is nice to see a Omanyte over here. Of course, it's one of the fossil Pokemon, so I'm really excited about that. And the other trainer has a nose pass. Now that is a really good Pokemon combination right here. Just because that these Pokemons will give you a lot of EXP when you defeat them. So that is really nice. Alright, we are able to, I guess, take down at least the Geodude. We do need one more turn to take down these two. But I'm really glad that I'm getting a chance to level up my Turtwig and Rods. Of course, the upcoming battle in the storyline, that is defeating the Team Magma members, are going to take a long time. I believe they are going to have Pokemon around the same level as my team members. So, we should see how difficult the challenge is going to be. I might actually go ahead and level up my team members a bit more. Just because I think I don't really have the correct Pokemon, you know, in my team. I believe if I had caught that Growlithe as well as had a fighting type Pokemon in my team, it would have been much easier. But with the current team members, I feel like I do need to level up a bit more. Alright, here we are going against a Sneasel which is quite cool to see again. Alright, let's quickly go ahead and take it down. Of course, Drawls can't really do too much damage considering Sneasel is part dark type. So, we are just going to try and take it down with our Turtwig. And since Turtwig is at level 18, it should actually evolve as soon as this battle ends. And I am really excited for it over here. <laughs> Alright, Turtwig is finally evolving. This is going to be pretty good. Turtwig is... A really good addition in my team and I'm really happy that it's evolving into a Grottle. Grottle should be able to at least do some damage for the upcoming gym as well. So we are having pretty good team members in my team currently. Alright, let's move on forward. There are I believe only two more trainers left and once I do battle them I think this is actually a pretty good place for me to end out this episode as well. Alright, um, there is one more Pokemon that I really want, which I believe is actually in this cave. So I will just try and see if I can find it. 
let's quickly move on um, there are two rock smash rocks over here again in this game try and break all the rocks just because you have a luck and chance um, of finding some item when you break up these rocks all right here is the last trainer that we can actually battle in this game now there is an underground area for this game but it does require dm flash considering the fact that we haven't yet defeated the second gym leader we can't really use that dm if you have picked it up as well so i believe just battling this trainer and you know returning back to play pick city would be the best thing to do all right here we have another hiker it's quite nice to see these guys because they help me level up my grotten and it seems like my grotten is also around level 20 now quite happy about that i still think i do need to level up my team members a bit more before we go ahead with the storyline which means i might have to level up my team members after this episode all right since he does have a much up um, i'll quickly go ahead and try using confusion i'm not really sure if we are able to find a fighting type pokemon before the second gym um I haven't really seen any of them till now and I am not sure if you will be able to find one. So if you are going against the second gym leader, probably the chances is that you will not have a fighting type Pokemon. Which means you do have to be a bit careful about her team members. They are really tough. Alright, we are actually going back but there is again like I mentioned one Pokemon that I need to catch in this cave. So let me actually see if I can find it when I'm running back to the exit of this game. Alright, and here is the Pokemon that I wanted to catch. It's actually an Aaron. And this is actually one of my favorite third generation Pokemon. Um, it's a steel and rock type. Quite unique. And it is quite strong. Defensively, I really like it. It is a easier pokemon to switch into if you're having some trouble and want to heal up your team members so i really like this one and want to add it to my team it also learns headbutt which means i don't really have to use my headbutt tm right away which i think i'll save up for another team member that i might catch in the future for now we'll go ahead and catch this newer team member probably not gonna be leveling this one up uh, before the next episode but once I get the I guess the experience share I probably would give it either to magic up or to Aaron over here this is one good thing is that my current team member actually has sturdy ability which means I shouldn't have too much trouble with the Pokemon's as well so I'm really happy about that all right let's actually make our way back to play pick city and i think it's quite a good place for me to end out this episode as well we do after all need to level up our team members i would recommend having your team members around level 20 if you are going ahead with the storyline um that would be just for the team galactic commander i'm sorry the team magma commander and for the gym i think having pokemon around level 22 is a must considering the gym leader is going to be quite tough so thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we will definitely go ahead and try to get our second gym badge, which I believe will be a very fun battle. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Like and share it with more people. And I'll see you guys with the next one.